What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. So there's been some uh, back and forth conversation on one of the more recent videos I put up, which is a reaction to the Scap Attack channel, the video the last choke a lebron james documentary anyway so I, I i've read all the comments up to date thus far and it's been some interesting conversations going back and forth and while i'm not gonna respond to each comment on this video i'm just gonna address some overall thoughts i had after reading the back and forth that people had some neutral LeBron James fans, some not so big LeBron James fans, and some maybe LeBron James fans. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So, one person was saying, like, yo, I don't understand this level of, I guess, critiquing and scrutiny and poking fun at LeBron James is basically unwarranted, and I don't understand why this guy gets so much flack. Why can't we just recognize him as an all-time great? And this person feels like it's because people feel threatened by LeBron James slash LeBron James legacy. <laughs> I had to chuckle at that one. <laughs> all right. Where do we start? Um, first of all, LeBron James is the most popular basketball player in the world, and it's really not even close, okay? Which means that with that, also given how his career played out and things that have happened or LeBron James' actions, per se, when you factor that into the equation, he's also the most polarizing basketball player in the world even regardless just being the most popular will probably make you the most polarizing maybe but anyway he is the most polarizing player in the world so as many videos or comments or whatever you might see of people critiquing LeBron calling things out making fun of him whatever the case may be not necessarily pro lebron content or conversation you will find equally if not more of that same stuff that are very pro lebron let's let's, let's keep it a hundred now To say you feel like people or Now, this isn't the first time I've heard this, that people say you're only saying this because you feel like LeBron threatens your favorite player, threatens whatever. No, 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 no. In fact, in fact, it's the complete opposite. I can assure you. Now, usually this comes down to player debates, right? You have your fan bases, right? Your Jordan fans, your Bird fans, your Steph Curry fans, your Kevin Durant fans. Who else did I miss? But Bird, I say Bird, Jordan, Kobe, Durant, Steph, whoever, whoever, Wilt Chamberlain, whoever the case may be. And then you'll find, let's just use YouTube for an example, but you could talk Twitter, you could talk Facebook, you could talk Instagram, whatever. You'll see debates start going on social media. Okay? One thing I can assure you is that when it comes to LeBron James and the LeBron James fan base, Nobody feels threatened by their king, their king, LeBron. And ain't nobody else calling LeBron their king but Bron Sexuals and hardcore LeBron fans. I'll tell you that right now. Nobody's threat. Nobody feels threatened by LeBron. It's the opposite. Bron Sexuals feel threatened by other players or and or they honestly don't feel confident and truly believe that their king is the greatest of all time because if you felt like this guy was really the greatest of all time you would let his merits his accolades 
and everything he's done stand alone and define his legacy and feel comfortable with that to present to people that this is why I think this person is the greatest player of all time. But no, bronze sexuals don't do that. Bronze sexuals make things up. They create lies, false narratives, revisionist history, like to conveniently leave out details and context when it fits their argument but also likes to apply context when it fits their argument. Whether it be about LeBron or other players. You see, that's the problem I have. The lies, the BS, the inconsistency, having your cake and eating it too. That's my problem. Are Do these fan bases, all these fan bases have really good fans and really bad fans. But I can tell you the LeBron James fan base, and partially because it's so big, I can understand that, but there is a large percentage that seems to me to be very bad fans because they do all the things that I mentioned. The LeBron James fan base is literally for the most part, the only fan base that has historically been tearing down other greats to push this LeBron James greatest of all time narrative. They are so fixated on this narrative and on this legenda like no other fan base is or feel the need to be. But the bronsexuals are shoving this down people's throat, f pretty much trying to force them and convince them that LeBron James is the greatest of all time. And they do it in a very toxic way, and it's very volatile. They are really the only fan base that really does this on a consistent basis. This is the type of things that rub people the wrong wrong way. It It just is. And we already know that people in the mainstream media, large amounts of people, have direct ties to LeBron James and Clutch Sports for pushing this information out to people. One of Nick's right call one of Nick Wright's colleagues just confirmed that he's a clutch client. He's associated with clutch sports. He didn't have to tell me that. I knew that for years. We just never got evidence, because he never he's not gonna say that. But somebody else brought the information out. I'm just saying, follow me, follow me. Listen to me, listen to what I'm saying. If the LeBron James fan base did not feel threatened by anything on the outside, they would speak in honesty and truth on the greatness of LeBron James and his accolades and let those stand on their own for their argument. All the other fan bases do that for the most part. I don't see Michael Jordan fans making up things, trying to revise history like things never happened or certain things did happen. I don't see the Kobe Bryant fan base doing that. In fact, the Kobe Bryant fan base are the ones out here arguing for honesty and truth when it comes to Kobe Bryant because he's one of those players that have been getting torn down by the La Media and these people that are associated with Clutch Sports and LeBron James. He's one of the people who have, who have been the focal point over the years as far as putting out lies regarding Kobe Bryant and his legacy and tearing him down. Those are just the facts. And all these guys have been caught up. People have called him out, called him, called him lying, c catching them contradicting themselves. They're out here deleting old tweets like we ain't see it happen. Come on, man. Cut it out. So the Kobe fans are, are fighting for, for Kobe Bryant justice. 
that his legacy be held up in the light. And most Kobe, most Kobe fans don't even think Kobe Bryant's the greatest of all time. Most of them don't. I'm a hardcore Kobe fan. I don't think Kobe's the greatest of all time. Now, I have him where I have him in my rankings, but I don't make stuff up about him. Never have, never will. I just speak the truth. I've been on this channel critiquing Kobe. I ain't got no problem critiquing him. Every player has flaws. Every player has ups and downs, shortcomings. The Larry Bird fans, now they have been a target in the media for whatever reason. Not necessarily just by bronze sexuals either. But the Larry Bird fans are adamant, love their Larry Bird. Most of this channel here is Larry Bird fans. They love him to death. But for the most part, from what I've been able to observe, even going and watching other people's Larry Bird YouTube content channel or YouTube channel content, the Bird fans ain't out here lying on people, ain't tearing down other people's legacies. For the most part, they're not. They're just speaking the facts about Larry Bird And, and, and saluting the man and paying homage to him. And sure, they have their debates. This is why I think he's better than Jordan. This is why I think this and that. But that's okay. That's normal. That's normal sports debate. But that 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 lying and that misinformation and that revisionist history, they ain't practicing that. Not many other fan bases are by the numbers. Just the bronze sexuals. And that's my that is my biggest problem. When it comes to LeBron James, I guess it's not even directly at LeBron James per se. And I get critiquing his game. Da, da, da. When it comes to me, it's just like speak the truth about what happened. Provide the context. Don't gloss over stuff. And bring it all up out the closet. Because the LeBron sexuals is going to do that for every other player. And bring out things that don't exist. How can you bring that out the closet, bro? That don't even exist. Where'd you pull that out from? Did you sketch that up? Sheesh. And while some people absolutely do have a problem with some of the things LeBron James has said or done, and they equate that and they factor that in to why they have him ranked where they do. But nothing they're saying is lies. Nothing. Now, you may view that in a different way than they view that, which is fine. The fact of the matter is, they're not making it up. And that is where I have the problem, is making things up. It's funny, man, because I'll go on, I'll watch, you know, go watch Michael Jordan con. I'll watch content from about all other players and it's funny because on a lot of these videos I'll go looking through the comments and it's always some bronze sexuals stirring up the pot and just bashing people on their video I, I, I don't see any other fan base doing that I don't see Kobe fans going on these you know Michael Jordan YouTube videos or highlights on Twitter and just start bashing them it's always the bronze sexuals and they'll they'll run around here just posting numbers and posting stats. Oh, just look at the numbers. <laughs> and put a little clown emoji. This ain't even a debate. Look at the numbers. I see this all the time. I see this all the time. And I used to go back and forth with these fools and then I I just stopped because what you it, it, you're not changing anybody's mind for the most part. People like that. They're not they're not open to having a discussion. You can tell how they come off. They're, they're not even open to trying to understand. They don't want to hear about your context. I have never seen a fan base and a player, LeBron James, he's not absolved from this. As a player, I've never seen a player and a fan base so obsessed, so obsessed with how people perceive him or this guy and view his legacy 
and wanting everybody's what's the word I want to use I don't even know if the words approval I don't even know if the word approval is right uh, wanting everybody's um, wanting everybody in agreement for him being the greatest player of all time he is obsessed with this this whole goat debate thing he is and it's been evident and how he acts things he said things he's been tweeting he literally just put out a tweet not too long ago basically saying if i ain't number one or something i, I can't i can't i can't remember it, it was something it was like a jay-z line or something this is it's like the, the, the fact that you are so hell bent on this and pushing this narrative so much tells me that you must not even believe you're the goat that you have to do all this extra stuff to feel like you have to try to convince people whereas all these players in the past never gave two shits about this damn goat debate they just played their game and let the chips lie where they may let the people talk about it no extra effort no extra antics no putting people on payroll plugging them in on tv and radio throwing it out into the freaking airwaves and radio waves feeding it to people like a cult the bronze sexuals are a cult trying to build the cult up doing all this extra stuff all this extra stuff and still the majority of people polled still have Michael Jordan the greatest of all time. All this extra stuff. It's its nuts. I've never seen anything like it, man. The bronze sexuals, the people on board the Legenda, they are a different kind of species, man. A different kind of species. Bronze sexuals was a poke at a gender identification but i'm starting to think they're just a whole different species man these, these folks ain't even human no more <laughs> oh man and, and one more thing it, it, it kills me when i see people use uh a certain material to build their argument right for lebron but then when it comes time to compare LeBron to say another player, right? And people would use that same argument. They want to dismiss it all of a sudden. For example, Michael Jordan has six rings. LeBron James has four rings. And LeBron James fans would be like, well, rings aren't everything. Rings are part of the equation, but you know, they're not everything. There's other things to look at. I don't disagree with that. I don't. But then I'll see them argue with Larry Bird fans. Braun has four. Larry Bird has three. And then they want to say, well, LeBron has more championships. Well, then you just say championships on everything when comparing him to Jordan. And Jordan has two more than Braun. Braun only has one more than Bird. And Braun's played 20 years. Make it make sense. I ain't making this stuff up. I'm not. This is stuff I see on a regular basis. Make it make sense. This is the stuff I do not like. I really don't. And all fan bases might do this to a degree, but nothing is as bad as these bronze sexuals out here. That's just the facts, folks. That's just the facts. I didn't know how my channel would go you know from where it started to where it is now i don't know i still don't know how it's going to evolve as time moves on but one thing i will continue to do is call out the truths for being truths call out the lies for being lies and i will continue to observe what people are saying observe the antics of the bronze sexuals and every time i catch them making up lies or trying to tear down other players wrongfully I'm gonna call it out 
I am. I really am. Can't be doing that, man. It's almost like you got this this head-to-head collision going on, like this war, right? Marvel versus DC, right? You got the LeBron side, the LeBron James fan base, and what seems to be like everybody else, and they're just clashing, and it's not all these other people ganging up on the bronze side. The bronze side has been throwing daggers. I mean, shots fired at these other groups for for a while now, and they got tired of it. They got tired of it. It's like, well, you're not going to keep making stuff up to prop your guy up. Well, now we're going to start talking about your guy, but we're, we're, we're going to speak facts because everything we're going to say is factual. We're not going to make anything up. If y'all want to, if you want to play that game, we could play that game. Absolutely. Anywho, I can go on literally for hours because there's a lot more I want to say about this. But I might have repeated myself a bit. But you, 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 get, you get the gist of what I'm saying. Some of it comes from the things LeBron James has done about them, done to himself, or how he, you know, just things that happened in his career, and people take that into context when they talk about LeBron and they they rank him. But for me, anyway, most of my LeBron James, if you want to call it venom, has more to do with what people are saying that's not true. And it's not me being malicious. It's just me telling you what actually happened and what didn't happen. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and I catch you on the next one. We out, baby.